Hi, it's Joy, and today I'm going to be watching Roswell, New Mexico, Season 1, Episode 1, The Pilot. This is a new show for me, for my channel. I'm very excited to watch it. I've been looking forward to watching the show for quite a while. I know this is a reboot of an old show, but I have never seen the old show. I know, but I will be honest and say that just haven't been on the internet since it aired. I know vaguely the faces of the main characters. I have an idea of who's going to couple up with who, what the romances are going to be. I don't really know the ins and outs of those. I don't know who stays together, who is together. Um, I don't even know if I'm going to like them, but just, you know, heads up, I'm going to sort of think, oh, he's going to, he has a romantic entanglement with him, he has a entanglement with her, I, I just, I'm not going to be surprised by those developments, but I'm looking forward to actually getting to see this show. I also know that it's to do with the alien family, um, I guess it's to do with the um, supposed real life alien thing in Roswell, New Mexico. So yeah, um, just wanted to be completely honest about the vague spoilers I know, even though I know nothing that actually happens in this show. Um, and yeah, I'm very excited to get to watch this programme. I've seen a lot of it on Tumblr, or well, a lot of people being excited about it on Tumblr. I have scrolled past it as quickly as I could because I didn't want to get spoilers. So yeah, let's go. My hometown has a legend. Yep. Ro Roswell is just a small town full of small tragedies and small people. I wouldn't say it's just that. Great. I know they know each other. Liz. Nice. Do you really carry your passports around in America? Sensing a lot of history here. Roswell. Aliens have already ruined <laughs> your life. Alien Beyonce fan on Twitter. Relentless. <laughs> Aliens are after America? That's the greatest country in the galaxy. Sure. Are you Keep telling yourself that. My great grandpa was impregnated by an alien here in 1946. <laughs> 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 Not her sister, I guess. No way. <laughs> Things we do when we think we're alone. I wouldn't do it here because of the big windows. It was, uh, it's really good to see you. I like protecting people. It helps me. We lost funding because someone needs money for a wall. Mm -hmm. And now I'm here! Were they more than that in high school? Like, were they romantic? Yeah. Or did they just have feelings for each other and didn't act on them? Think. Oh my god! Down, down. Unexpected! No. Oh my god! No. Using those alien powers! So who was shooting? Was that someone shooting at him because he was a cop? That someone shooting at her for some reason? Or was that shooting at someone shooting at him thinking he was an alien wanting proof? It's just ketchup. Ketchup. Please. She's gonna be able to tell it's not all just ketchup, surely. Yeah, it's not all just ketchup. It was a good attempt at a cover story. Okay, I'm already intrigued by this show. So it takes it out of him using his alien powers. I love you! <laughs> Sister took drugs and she drove, and when she died, she took two innocent girls with her. Oh dear. There must have been more to it than that. Liz, were you shot? Obviously not. <gasps> right? <sighs> Should have talked to Max. Just a, aligning myself with your feminist agenda, sure. <laughs> <laughs> sure, there's CCTV in this prison. Why don't you drive the speed limit, Michael? Why don't you spend your nights like I do? Okay, speed limit. Ryan I do agree with. Rush and more. Keep 30 seconds or I will melt your brain. <laughs> what? How would you know? You've never done anything for anybody. Stop it, Max. Both of you. Very are interesting dynamics here. We are getting reckless with our alien powers here, guys. Max, the cameras. You shut them off. Don't worry. Don't worry? I have been worried my entire life that someone would find out about us, that we would end up dissected, imprisoned. I am married to someone who can't ever know who I am, and that kills me. But I keep this secret because you, me, and Michael swore that we would. And now in one moment, you've thrown that all away on some girl you had a thing for in high school. I hope she was worth it, Max. It's kind of an instinct thing you did rather than like a decided, deliberate thing. Private property. As hell doesn't look legal. There's so much backstory in all these characters, and I want to know it all. Get quick, Alex. Run and tell your daddy. Oh dear. What happened there? 
Are you trying to find a way to rebuild the ship? Where her sister died. They were all kids. People are horrible. Hallucinating. Gotta tell her. I thought I was shot. You should talk to your siblings and then you should tell her the truth. Okay, maybe you were. This is not being subtle. I know you wanted to stop him telling her, but that was the opposite of subtle. Mm-hmm. Teresa. The good old days. In danger of being dragged off to the Pentagon by men in hazmat suits because someone couldn't keep his superhuman healing hands to himself. I am not asking permission. Well, maybe you should be. I'm sorry. At least consulting. Secrets. Things she can't ever know. It's all about her sister. Fall in love with someone else, Max. It doesn't work like that. If I could have, I would have. Whatever. Or whatever. No, use me. Okay. Use me, absolutely. <laughs> Too many people are getting strands of this thread already. Whoa. Did Kyle, that's the name, did he see that too? Aliens are coming. And when they do, they're not so much they're coming, they're, they're here. And murder. Okay, Trump. Steal. So at this point, he has to tell her. Where did you see it? Don't say. With all due respect, sir. 1947 UFO crash. Mm hmm. What are you, Max? You already know the legend, but 50 years after the incident in 1997, I woke up in here, in one of those. Michael and Isabel, too. We had no memories or rudimentary skills, just each other. A long haul trucker found us, naked, me wandering the desert. Our parents adopted Isabel and me, but Michael was harder to place. He uh, he ended up in foster care. God, who adult was just two out of three yeah, siblings? I hate doing? things like that. Yes. I need to have myself committed. This is better than that. Mm -hmm. Put us in a lab, and I don't know, cut us up. Experiment. It's an understandable fear. I saw you bleeding, and I just. I'll keep your secret, Max. Start preparing yourself. Is that what happened? Something about that to do with Rosa? Like you did ten years ago. Whoa. I'm a son. I'm a brother. I'm a cop. I would have followed you. That's sweet. I mean, I would have, I would have <laughs> no. followed in your footsteps. You know, the, I never save people. Be your cop. You must see hurt people. Why me? Why do you think? I mean, do you have to touch her there? <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> He's been in love with you since you were children. You would follow me. Yeah. Anywhere. Very romantic. I'm filming things. <laughs> I feel for you. I don't think that's necessarily a true. Maybe a week. Fine. She can wait a week. I'll kiss you then. Hmm. <laughs> the violence isn't over. Don't believe him, Kyle. Tyler made a lot of poor decisions. You don't need to. The macho cowboy swagger thing ever get old with you? What's their history? Did it get old for you? Is this a joke? I see you dying alone. <laughs> Her song. Can't leave now. <laughs> Though I appreciate that even though he's had this really long attachment to her, he's never done that entitled I saw you first or trying to demand that he deserves her. I need to know what their backstory is before I get too invested with any of these couples. I've got to go to what Max and Lizzie's backstory is, but I need to know what the backstory of everyone is. I, did. I mean, she has a glowing handprint on her chest. I don't believe you. 
Well, you do at some point need to tell her. Because she's obviously going to find out. <laughs> this show's already made me feel things about these characters. I feel like I've been watching it for more than just one episode. Okay, I think that was a really, really good pilot. I feel like a really strong connection to especially Liz at the moment. Um, we kind of had an idea of what she's been doing. We know that she's passionate about her family and her father. Um, we know that she lost her sister. As far as everyone is concerned, she took drugs, crashed a car, and killed two other girls, which is still not murder. I mean, you definitely feel a little bit of like antagonistic blame towards, I guess, if you believe that story, that Rosa, but the level that the town is acting is just disgusting. <laughs> People suck. Um, maybe the families of the girls could have that anger, but the whole town, it's just anyone, the excuse to join in and feel superior and probably some racism thrown in there and just, ugh, gross. Um, but I really like Liz so far. I'm intrigued to see more of her and Max. Max is again, like, such a good guy. Because one of those things you have in a lot of shows is you have the sort of quiet guy at school who had the crush on a girl and he, know, and he has this then attitude like he's entitled because he's always fancied her and while she's dated all the wrong people, he's known her to worth. He knew she was special. And I hate that kind of plotline a lot. I don't ship those couples, I can't because it's just gross. Whereas Max has made it very clear that he's been in love with Liz since as long as he can remember. But he's not taking advantage of this current situation. He isn't going to try and force her into anything or guilt her into anything. If when the handprint fades, she says, oh, you were right. I was just feeling an echo of your feelings. I already have a sense from Max that his response would be a respect that, you know, we can be friends. So I, I like Max a lot. Um, and the moment I didn't expect the diner to get shot up at all. I don't know if I even like had much of a short reaction because I was like, oh, oh, oh that's happening. Because I was just kind of like intrigued by their dynamic, wanted them to talk a bit more, and then she was bleeding and dying and he's he uses alien powers. I like that they all have different specialities. I think that's a different well, it's an interesting take on it, that they can all do different things. And obviously when they use them, it drains them. They clearly have to drink those sort of chemicals or have chemicals, and that's what um okay, <laughs> it's Caleb. No, his name is Alex. Alex is tech people detected around um, the trailer where Michael lives. I'm doing okay with these names. I have seen them online a lot. Like I said, I knew that um, Alex and Michael were in some way a thing. I had no idea they were going to be like kissing in the first episode. I don't think their relationship was going to be that straightforward. And I knew that Liz and Max were a thing. And I also knew that. Oh my god, I've forgotten the sister's name. But I knew that there was a third sibling. And. I think I knew that Liz had a sister that had died. That was like, that's basically as much as I know. The two sort of couples and that Kyle exists. Um, I have no idea how he interacts with anyone in the show, but I knew that you know, Tyler and Caleb and everyone. So yeah, I'm, I really, really enjoyed that pilot. So then I also want to know more about, because when um, Michael and Alex interacted, they talked like there was a lot of history there. And this episode, we didn't learn any of that history and I want to learn that history. But we've already got from them, clearly Michael is very, gifted and bright but had uh, had I guess just trouble fitting in and the fact that his siblings got adopted by parents and he didn't it's just horrible and it probably explains a lot of why he's a little bit more edgy or a little bit harder to trust or to feel just settle down and have like a good normal life like you know his siblings seem to be doing um so I'm intrigued to see more about their dynamics with all these characters and to see these characters grow and to see what happened between him and Michael between him and Alex, he is Michael. And I just, yeah, I'm really intrigued by this. Then you've got obviously the evil military who they know that they're really aliens, but they think they're just evil warmongering aliens. And I mean, maybe the aliens that crashed did attack. Maybe, you know, upon crash landing on this planet, they tried to fight to protect themselves. And maybe they, the initial aliens that I were in the ship were violent, but that doesn't mean they all are. And the situation would probably have been them being attacked as well. So I'm so, but I mean, I, I knew I'd enjoy this show. It's kind of one of those shows that I love The Vampire Diaries and it's by like a lot of the same people who did that. And I like these kind of CW shows a lot. Um, but I really, really enjoyed that episode. You know, I found myself getting lost in it and feeling as though I'd already watched multiple episodes and was already really bonding with these characters. And I can't wait to see where it goes next. I feel like I've been missing one of these shows in my life since Vampire Diaries ended. So yeah, that was a fantastic episode. Brilliant pilot. Thank you for watching. One last thing that I just finished recording and forgot to say, my reaction to Roswell New Mexico will be out once a week every Friday from the day you see this into the future and I'm very excited, I can't wait to watch more.